What's going on everyone? Welcome back. So today we're making a brawler tier list. Now this is strictly my opinion on how good I think each brawler is in the current meta. And if you don't necessarily agree with me, that's fine. Just let me know in the comments. So with that being said, uh, I've broken this list down into amazing, great, average, subpar, or below average for those of you that aren't educated. And dog water, which means really bad for those of you that also aren't educated. Okay, so I added a new category. Uh, there's only one brawler that deserves to go here, and you're not allowed to disagree with me. I don't want to hear anything else about it. So before we get into things, I just want to mention real quick that with a brawler tier list, I feel as if only the top and the bottom matter. So the really good brawlers and the really bad brawlers are the important ones to note, and then everything else can kind of just get thrown in the middle. So in the amazing category, I've put in Belle, Jean, Amber, Tara, and Stu. I feel like all of these brawlers, they kind of explain themselves. There's uncontested some of the best brawlers in the game. Tara is almost impossible to win a lane against with her minion gadget. Belle and Jean, just incredible. Amber, all you have to do is hold down the auto aim button and you win half the time. And then again, Stu, who was one of the best brawlers like a month or two ago, is still up there to this day. So that's all the brawlers that I think fit really well in the amazing category. So moving on to the dog water category, we've got Squeak, Daryl, Mike, Edgar, Bo, and you guys guessed it. The worst brawler in Brawl Stars history is Shelly. That's right, guys. Listen, all of these guys are just weak at the moment. They're really not good. Mike's always been kind of bad. He's hard to hit shots with. Um, overall, he's really difficult to play. I think Edgar isn't good. I think Bo, through the progressive nerfs that he's received, has just fallen down quite drastically. All of these brawlers are like one big change away from being really good. Uh, something's got to happen with Daryl. Something's got to happen with Squeak. Maybe more damage or a faster reload or something could really change him. Um, but I think Shelly's just doomed to forever be in the bottom. Because if you make Shelly too good, then at low trophies, she's going to be so broken. So I, I you can't make Shelly good enough for like competitive players to play. Otherwise, the game would be so unbalanced. And I think Daryl sucks. That's it. So that's that. Moving on. Alrighty, so moving on to the great category. I've put Brock, Primo, Ems, Crow, Barley, Sprout, Sandy, Rico, Ruffs, Surge and Colette. I think Brock is almost in the amazing category. I mean, he can hold down his own in almost every single game mode. Maybe not gem grab, but that's not important. Um, Primo with a huge buff. All the tanks got a buff basically where they charge their super when they take damage. And if you're playing a tank, your job is to take damage. Thus, you're getting more supers, which makes Primo really, really good. And with the resurgence of some tanks, mainly Primo, um, Ems also has become really good because she's a counter to tanks. So Ems has to be good. Um, Crow and Barley and Sprout have all been really strong for a long time now. Um, mainly Crow for his stun, his slow gadget. Um, and Barley got a range and damage nerf recently. So he's just popping off. Sandy and Rico both make the great category because of their new gadgets. Um, Rico's new gadget where he can just instantly heal almost all of his health with one clip of the bullets off the wall is incredible. It, it gives you this weird opportunity to control a lane and also regain all of your health at the same time. It's just a perfect. I think Ruffs will always be up here, not because of his build alone, but because of the fact that he can boost up his teammates to do more damage. Uh, going against a whole enemy team with a Ruffs buff is just a nightmare. Um, and then Serge and Colette, you know, they hold their own all the time. They have really unique characteristics about them that make them really good. So that's that. Moving on to the subpar category. We've got almost all of the tanks in the game. We've got Bull, Frank, BB, and then we've got Pam, Buzz, who I haven't even played yet, but I just from experience and putting them down here. Nani, Penny, and Polka. Listen, tanks got a big buff but it's not enough to make these guys good because tanks always get countered harder than tanks can tank okay like brawlers like colette and ems being so prominent in the game make tanks really really difficult to play so that's why i put a lot of these guys down here um pam unfortunately has kind of fallen off too i love pam you guys know that i like jesse but i really really like pam too uh, so it sucks that she's not that great. Nani's only good in like one game mode, maybe on like two different maps. It's hard to put Nani any higher than subpar for that reason. Uh, same thing with Penny and Poco's really fallen off too, because if, like I said, Poco accompanies tanks really well since 
tanks get countered really hard. No one's really playing that many tanks except for Primo. And no one's really playing Poco for that matter too. So it's hard to put Poco any higher than subpar. Okay, and rounding out this middle bunch here is just everyone else, okay? They're not in any specific order. It's just everyone else in the game that has their moments, sometimes suck, sometimes pop off. And that's all of these brawlers right here. Uh, I feel like some of them are one buff from being great or one nerf from being dog water. So that's why I rounded off with B, Lou, Piper, Byron, Max, Mr. P, Mortis, Colt, Gale, Spike, Leon, Jackie, Nita, Rosa, Tick, 8-Bit, and Carl. Uh, like I said, I feel like all of these guys are so close to being really strong but they're also really close to being bad. Like I said, guys, with a tier list like this, with almost 50 brawlers, only the really top and the really bottom are the ones to consider, right? Everyone else is kind of just eh. Like they have their moments, I guess, but for the most part, the only notable highlights are the amazing brawlers and the dog water brawlers and so on and so forth. So I know this was really quick, but if you guys want me to go more in depth with everything and maybe talk about brawlers specific strengths and weaknesses, let me know. I'd be more than happy to accommodate that. But with all that being said, guys, like the video. If you like the video, subscribe. That means a lot to me. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Also, shout out to JG for making this. He's from my stream and he's awesome. Okay, later guys.